Alrighty guys, welcome back to the little gym at home. This class over here is going to be our parent-child age group. So this is for the kids that are younger than three. Be ready to have some fun with me today. We're going to be exploring the body again. We're going to be talking about how to get these guys used to their bodies, used to their skin. And in particular, we're going to be going upside down. Now, one thing you're going to need for our activities today is a tape line, like the line I have in front of me over here. So you can set up a nice straight tape line on the floor uh, where you are in your living room. And you're also going to need a scarf. Now, I don't expect you guys to hold these juggling scarves at home. Maybe you can use a, a napkin or a cloth or a tea towel. Whatever you've got available to you at home will do for the job, okay? So let's start things off the way we always do at the little gym. Are you guys ready to sing our hello song? Let's clap our hands, huh? Clap your hands from side to side. One, two, three. Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Oh, we come to gym for fun and we get you on the run. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Bum, bum, hip, hip, hooray! Your lovely work, singing along and joining in and having some fun. Hey, are you guys ready for our meme activity? Now, parents, this is what I'd like you guys to do with your little ones. Grab your little one. You can hold them tummy to tummy, just like me and Bunny over here. And you can lean them forward and get them upside down. When they're upside down, see if they can tell you your name. What's your name? I'm Mr. Bunny. Thanks for saying your name, Mr. Bunny. Well done. Hey, have you guys said your names yet? Give yourselves a big clap. Thank you so much for going tummy to tummy, upside down, and saying your name. Well done, everyone. Well done. Now, we'll put Mr. Bunny to the side for now. He's going to be useful to us in a minute, okay? Hey, are you guys ready to run around and have some fun? Please make sure you've got a nice open space in your living room. Don't bump into anything or anyone. Let's be safe, okay? Let's hit the music and get ready to play. Run! Oh. Let's run! Run, 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 it's a little chip way. I'm going to run this I'm going to run this part. I'm going to run this I'm going to run this part. I'm going to run this part. I'm going to run this part. I'm going to To fly. Oh, flying. Now, there's a few things you can do. You can get your BCs to flap their wings and fly like this. Or you can pick them up and get them flying around the red mat or the, the living room, I guess, in your case. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, flying. Whee! Fly, fly, fly. Woo! Look at all this flying you guys are doing, huh? Pretty soon you'll be like birdies. You'll flap your wings and fly. Fly, fly, fly. Whee! Thank you for flying, Mr. Bunny. Keep it up there, you guys at home. Keep flying. Parents is a good arm workout for you guys, that's for sure. Keep on going. All right. Ooh. Freeze. Freeze. Front or back, whoop de Ah, this is a tricky one, right? Now, I'll pause the music for just a quick second. I'm going to spend a bit of time showing you how to do these whoop de doos because they're such a fun thing that you guys can do at home. And it's great for these guys to develop what's called their vestibular system. We'll touch on that a little bit later on. We're going to rest our little ones on our legs. 
so their head is resting on our knees. And what I want you guys to make sure not to do, please don't put your arms under their arms. We want to wrap our arms on top of their shoulders, over their arms, over to their chest with your hands resting on their thighs, okay? Now we're going to do a big, strong kick. One, two, three, kick, flip, and they're going to land safe and sound on the other side. Now please make sure you rest your arms all the way up through to their thighs. That way you've got them secure in your arms. Let's do a few more back de doos play the music, and let's get into it. So arms over the top, down to their thighs. One, two, three, kick. child upside down, either in your arms or lay them on the floor, then pick them up carefully by their ankles. Gentle swings are fine, and then set them down gently. If your child doesn't like being upside down, just rock them in your arms and experiment with going a little bit upside down as you rock back and forth. Have fun! Oh, we now, with the whole ankle hold, let's only do that if they're above one and a half, okay? Don't lift them up while they're able to, they're any younger than that. The more time they spend upside down, the better it is for them. Freeze. Walk and clap to the music. A walking spot. Oh, my oh, my Give yourself a big clap. Thank you so much for playing so nicely and being so awesome. You guys did a great job playing like that, okay? Hey, are you guys ready for our next activity? What you're gonna need to get now is that scarf or tea towel or cloth that we were talking about before. Lucky I've got one handy in my pocket. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tea towel or use your scarf to uh, teach them how to link different body parts together. We're going to be holding hands together, finger and thumb, between, on top, a range of different things to help encourage knowledge of their body, okay? So we'll hit the music and we'll get straight into that activity. Walk with your scarf on top of a body part. Nice! So I'm going to start. ways can you do that? On top of my hand. Can you walk with it on top of your hand? Body part, hair. Walk with the scar on top of your head. How about our elbow? Can you put it on top of your elbow? Elbow. Now, what about our shoulder? Can you put it on top of your shoulder? Shoulder. Fly away. Shoulder. We even put it on top of our head. while holding your scarf between oh. two different body parts. Between! How many different ways can you do that? <laughs> like between my finger and my thumb? Let's run and hold it up high with it between, huh? Run, 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 run. Or you can put it between your hands. That's pretty tricky, between your hands. That's good running. Hey, we can even put it between our arm and our body. Between. Run with the scarf between my knees. That's too tricky for me. Can you do it at home? Ah, well done, guys. Well done. What's next? Freeze! Parents, help your child put their scarf on the 
the floor uh -huh. so that it's in the shape of a square. Oh, a square. How many different That's ways like can you step square. or jump over your square scarf? Ooh. So let's stop with some steps. This is a pretty big jump. Uh, I, I did it! Wait, you reckon I can jump over it? I'll try to do a big jump. Keep my feet together. Let's count to three. One. Now form your scarf in the shape oh. of a rectangle. Okay, rectangle. Can you step or jump over the short sides and the long Let's side? try the short side. One, two, three, jump! Hey, I did it! You are back in the long side? Ready? One, two, three, jump! Now Ooh. form the scarf in the shape of a triangle. Triangle. Looks like How many this. different ways can you step or jump over the triangle? Ready? Step. Jump. Get it backwards. Get it in and go sideways. Whee! There's some tricky jumps, so you guys try them all out. Freeze. Freeze. And watch your teacher. Hi. Your teacher is going to stuff their scarf inside their pocket or their sleeve. Like this. <laughs> Can you stuff your scarf inside your pocket or inside. sleeve and gallop? It's inside my pocket, you see, and I'm gonna gallop, now I'm gonna gallop. Hey, keep on galloping there, guys. Have you got your scarf inside your pocket? Hey, can we gallop with our tummies facing out? Like this, see, my tummy's facing you now. Can you gallop with your tummy facing me? Now can you gallop with your back facing me like this? Hello. Gallop, gallop, gallop. Nice work, gallop in there, everyone. I love it. You're all putting your best arm swings while you gallop. Freeze. Freeze. What's next? Throw your scarf in the air, ah. and when it floats down, you can catch it or make it land on a body part. How many Caught it. can you do that? Ready? Throw. Catch! I'll try another one. Maybe I can catch it with my head. Throw. I did it! Yay! Can you catch it with your foot, do you think? Throw. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'll try again. Ready? Throw. Ah, I did it! Thank you. Now please sing with me. Ooh. It's time to put the scarves away. The scarves away. The scarves away. It's time to put the scarves away at the little gym. Alrighty, guys. Lovely work playing so awesome with those scarves. I want you to give yourselves another big clap. Lovely work. Now, hey. What we're going to do now is our moving part. We're, so parents, you're going to have to help your little ones out with a few of these skills. Remember, we're looking at raising that body awareness. A big part of that is getting these guys to go upside down and tumble a little bit. Now, uh, we're going to do these as safe as we possibly can. Just remember, your children may get a little bit uncomfortable if they're going upside down. Don't force them through with it, okay? If they're feeling uncomfortable, they're gonna tense themselves up and you may end up hurting them if you push them through the skills. Let's not push them through it. Get them to do these skills when they feel ready. That way it's done the safest possible way, okay? Now we're doing this to help raise vestibular awareness. So basically, we're gonna shake up the system that helps keeps everyone stable. Now when we shake that system up, what we're doing is getting them used to feeling dizzy, or unstable and once they're used to that feeling they're more capable of keeping themselves upright and steady when they feel a little bit unsteady and shaken it makes it harder for them to get a little bit unsteady and shaken okay so let's start off with the background music and let's jump straight into our very first skill for today we're gonna have to borrow mr. bunny for some of these huh all right are you guys ready to do these activities let's start the music and get straight into our first one which is wheelbarrow walks, okay? So we're gonna go back to this tape line and we're gonna do some wheelbarrow walks. So the way this one works, 
is we're going to do this. We're going to hold our hand on the little one's tummy and hold the other hand, lifting their legs up as such. And we're going to place them down and hopefully get them following that tape line with their hands. Now, they might just hold their arms down and keep it still. That's okay. You don't have to force them through it. If they just want to stand still holding their arms upright, that's fine. They're still building their core muscles, they're still building their arm muscles, and they're still getting used to a different plane of motion. But ideally, what we want is for these little guys to start walking on their hands as such, okay? Walking on their hands. Walking, walking, walking. It's a bit hard to demonstrate it with a, a stuffed toy, but I'm sure your little ones at home will push those arms straight and strong, and when they're ready, they'll start with their walking, okay? So, hold them still, arms straight and strong, and hopefully when they're ready, they'll start walking on their hands. Keep on practicing that for a quick second. Go on, you guys do the walking. Well done, you guys. I love how everyone's doing those nice wheelbarrow walks with straight, strong arms. Walking, walking, walking. Keep it up, huh? Keep it up. Walking, walking, walking so nicely. Hey, the next thing we're gonna do is get back to that tape line. This one's a fun one, huh? We're gonna hold our arms wide on the line and we can walk forwards. We can try walking sidewards. We can even walk backwards. Now the best way to help them do this, parents, hold them under the arms, okay? Now, hold them under the arms and the elbows. Try your best not to let them hold you and see if they can do the walking steps by themselves. Step, step, steps forward, sideways, backwards. Now when they're ready and they're confident and walking pretty strong by themselves, let's change it to jumping. So they're on the tape line, they can do a big jump forwards, they can do a big jump sideways. They can even try big jumps backwards. Backwards. Hey, big clap for you guys. You're doing such a good job walking, jumping, and copying all of the skills and exercises. Big thumbs up to you guys. Well done, everyone. Oh, we've got one last skill to demonstrate. I hope you guys have had fun with the wheelbarrow walks and the balancing steps. Our very last skill for today is going to be a wheelbarrow walk to a forward roll. Now this is the one I was talking about before. Let's not force them through the forward roll if they're stiff and they're tight. Only let them do the forward roll when they're relaxed and they're ready. Now we started with the wheelbarrows to get them used to this position so hopefully they're a little more relaxed when we go ahead and give it a try now. So what we're going to do very simply, put them in that same wheelbarrow position. So one arm on the tummy. One arm on the legs, place them down, and we'll see if they do their walking steps for a little while. Then give them the cue, forward roll, forward roll, remove your hand from their leg, tuck that head in, make sure they're rolling through and landing on their back, not their head, okay? Now they might stiffen and try to fight you, let it go at that point. Please don't force them through with these rolls. We don't want to risk any injuries, okay? However, if they're relaxed and they're willing, please push them through and do that roll, okay? So we'll do it again. Wheelbarrow walk, so one arm on their legs, one arm on their tummy. Wheelbarrow walks. Move your other arm on their legs. Give them the cue. Forward roll, forward roll. Tuck that head in. Forward roll through. Big clap. All of you guys are doing four rolls at home. Huh? Now feel free to go through all of those skills as many times as you want. The more you do it, the more fun it is and the better it is for you guys, okay? So try those wheelbarrow walks, try those walking forwards, sideways and backwards, and when they're ready, see if they're willing to do a, four, a wheelbarrow to a forward roll, okay? You can pause this and get back to this when you're ready, all right? All right, let's give you all a big round of applause. Lovely work doing all those amazing and incredible skills. Now, we can't have a little gym class without first, or oh not first, but without playing with the balls, okay? You ready to play with the balls, little ones? It's time to play with the balls today. Balls today, balls today. It's time to play with the balls today at the little gym. Now we've got a fun activity happening for you guys right now and it doesn't involve any kicking or throwing.
growing or rolling. Now, if your little ones want to do those things, don't fight it, let them have their fun. Every once in a while, try this with the ball activity, okay? I want you to place the ball down, put their tummy on it, lift their legs up, and roll them around, go sideways, roll, 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 roll forward and back, side to side, roll them around, have some fun with it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Now the idea is they're shaking themselves up, they're getting that vestibular awareness, they're boosting it up, they're feeling a little bit dizzy from all of that. Now another thing you can try, is maybe bring the ball a little bit closer to you, sit them on the top of the ball, hold under their arms, and the same thing, you get a little bit more motion with this one. As you can see, Mr. Bunny's ears are going a little bit crazy. He's rocking all over the place because his head, which is where the vestibular system is, is rocking and shaking a little bit more. And we want to make sure they keep themselves upright and safe while they're doing it, okay? Rock, 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 rock. Now, there's one more thing we can try. A little bit tricky to do, okay? So we're going to have to do a bit of a heavier spot. I want you to wrap your arm around them them standing on top of the ball and hold them up get them standing and just standing still okay now this one over here is going to help build that sense of stability that, that balancing muscles they're going to be shaken up and they're going to wobble all over the place now the reason why we're going to get them to do that is to build the muscles that aid them with their stability okay so standing tall wobble 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 try all of those ball activities Feel free to pause this and get back to me when you're done playing with the ball, okay, everyone? All right, let's give you all a big round of applause. Lovely work for laying with those balls. Uh, lovely work. Hey, do you guys know what we do after the balls? Are you ready? Let's pack the ball away, please. It's time to pack the balls away, balls away, balls away. Time to pack the balls away at the little gym. Hey, you guys ready for what's next? We have b, 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 bubbles now. Are you guys ready to pop, pop, pop the bubbles with me? Today, we've got a bubble song. So let's play the song and we'll listen to what we need to do. That way we can pop, pop, pop the bubbles. Bubbles, in the air, floating, flying everywhere. Up above the ocean, so high, like a balloon in the sky. No one has pop those bubbles, huh? Bubbles in the air, floating, flying everywhere. Yourselves a big round of applause. Lovely work. Pop, 
blasting all those bubbles and having a great time. Can we all say bye to the bubbles now? Bye bye bubbles. See you next time bubbles. See you later. All right, let's get ready to sit in a circle together. Let's make the biggest circle in Australia. Everyone, let's join in a circle from your living rooms. Ready? It's time to sit in a circle again. Circle again. Circle again. It's time to sit in a circle again. And the little dream. All right, hey, I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed all the activities we did today. We spoke a lot about raising their body awareness, getting them ready to balance, and building their stability today. Now, we're gonna do a good one to raise their finger dexterity now. We're gonna sing a great song, I should say, to raise their finger dexterity. Are you guys ready to do some itsy bitsy spider with me? Get your fingers ready, and let's sing the song on the count of three. One, two, Three. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. A lovely one, guys. Hey. Thank you so much for singing along with me, having a great time, joining in on all the fun. I'd love to see as many videos as you can put up, okay? Everyone share a video uh, uh, to our, uh, our Facebook page, The Little Gym Journal at Home. I'd love to see as many videos as I can, all right? You guys ready to play some drums and say goodbye? Get your hands ready and let's...